I want to talk about a very serious health problem in America. And here's the problem. Millions of people have been prescribed a class of drugs called statins. These drugs are supposed to lower cholesterol and thereby prevent heart attacks. But here are some things that you have a right to know about these drugs. Well, first of all, do they lower cholesterol? And the answer is, yeah, they lower cholesterol. But here's a very important question. Do they prevent heart attacks? No, they don't. Are they safe? No, they aren't. So if you're taking a statin, you're taking a drug to prevent heart attacks that does not prevent heart attacks. And further, you're taking a drug that is not safe and does you harm. Now, does that make sense? In fact, your statin drug could be placing you in mortal danger, setting you up for heart failure, as well as other conditions, including a deadly form of kidney disease. Given that statins are useless and dangerous, why do doctors prescribe them? Well, most doctors believe that high cholesterol is a main component of heart disease, and they view cholesterol-lowering drugs, the statins, as life-saving drugs. But this is fundamentally wrong. If cholesterol is so important, how do you explain the fact that half of all people who suffer heart attacks have perfectly normal cholesterol? Rather, what we actually observe is an increase, an increase in heart failure in people taking statins. So statins cause heart disease. One doctor fighting to unmask the dangers of statins is Texas cardiologist Dr. Peter Langstrom. He wrote in a petition filed with the FDA, and here's a quote from this petition, filed with the FDA, statins kill people, lots of people, and they wound many, many more. And this is from a heart specialist. All patients taking statins become depleted in coenzyme Q10, especially those patients who already start with relatively low coenzyme Q10 levels, such as the elderly, and people with heart failure. When taking statins, patients begin to manifest symptoms of CoQ10 deficiency within six to 12 months. Younger, healthier people can tolerate statins for several years before getting into trouble. With fatigue, muscle weakness, and muscle soreness, and heart failure, statins are being prescribed with reckless abandon in higher and higher doses in our elderly and even in patients with normal cholesterol levels supposedly to prevent heart disease, yet we know statins do nothing to prevent heart disease. The problem is statins cause heart disease. We are experiencing an increase in heart failure as a result of statin usage. We even developed a name for it the name is called statin cardiomyopathy. We are witnessing the unfolding of one of the greatest medical tragedies of all time. Never before in history has the medical establishment knowingly created a life-threatening nutrient deficiency in millions of otherwise healthy people, but it's happening now with the statins. Statins also damage muscle tissue, causing permanent muscle pain and weakness. A 2010 review of statins, published in the journal Current Atherosclerosis Reports, found that up to 15% of statin users experience muscle problems. Further, the breakdown of muscle tissue releases a protein called myoglobin. Myoglobin degrades into a chemical that damages the kidneys and can cause a fatal kidney disease called rhabdomyolysis. 
Other complications can include blood clots and cardiac arrest. Statins also damage the liver. Liver damage causes fatigue, pain in the upper, ab upper, upper abdomen, um, dark colored urine, or yellowing of the skin or eyes. And these are signs that statins may be damaging your liver. Statins damage the nervous system. Peripheral neuropathy is one symptom, beginning with tingling and prickling of the hands and the feet, as well as numbness. Symptoms can escalate to burning pain and paralysis. Even when statins are used in relatively low doses, the incidence of severe motor and sensory neuropathy increases as much as 14 times over patients who are not taking statins. Then there are the mental problems. Statins cause mental confusion and memory loss similar to Alzheimer's. They also cause mood changes, depression, increased hostility, and aggression. Diabetes is another complication. A study at Harvard Medical School released in January of 2012 found that long-term statin users increased their odds of developing type 2 diabetes by almost 50%. A 2011 study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that statins increase the risk of diabetes by 12% over five years. Many other diseases may be linked to statins, including cancer and amyotropic lateral sclerosis, that's Lou Gehrig's disease. In fact, the FDA recently announced that warnings would be required on statin drugs to indicate that they may increase blood sugar and cause memory loss. Given that statins do nothing to prevent heart attacks, do nothing good for you, and given all the toxic damage they do, why would any rational person want to take these drugs? Stay away from statins, that's my advice.